Here's a bite-sized research summary, read aloud for you to enjoy on the go. This podcast is brought to you by the English Language Institute of Singapore. I'm Victoria Ong. This episode will summarize the paper entitled The Role of Vocabulary in Reading Comprehension, The Case of Secondary School Students Learning English in Singapore. This paper was written by Lawrence Jun Chang and Suwaini Bin Anwal and was published in 2008 in the RELC Journal. What was the background for this study? This study was motivated by a previous survey conducted with a group of secondary four students. The survey results indicated that students struggled with reading comprehension due to their inability to handle certain vocabulary encountered in reading passages. Similarly, teachers also cited students' vocabulary knowledge as the main source of poor reading comprehension. What were the aims of the study? The study sought to investigate learners' vocabulary knowledge and its relationship to reading comprehension. The authors also wanted to find out how vocabulary difficulty in an expository text could affect students' reading comprehension performance. Who was involved in this study? The study involved 37 secondary four students from a neighborhood school in Singapore. These students demonstrated average to below average English language proficiency. How was the study carried out? A vocabulary test was administered to all the students in order to gather data about the extent of their vocabulary knowledge. A week later, the students completed a reading comprehension test which consisted of short answer questions, that is, literal and inferential questions, and a summary question. What were the findings of this research? Results revealed high mean scores for the vocabulary test, but low mean scores for the overall reading comprehension test. The high mean scores of the vocabulary test observed at the 2,000-word and 3,000-word levels suggested that the students had sufficient knowledge of high-frequency words. However, results for the 5,000-word level suggested these students did not possess much knowledge of low-frequency words. A significant correlation was found between knowledge of high-frequency words and students' performance scores on the short answer questions. However, the correlation between students' knowledge of low-frequency words and their scores on the short answer questions was not statistically significant. No significant correlation was found between vocabulary knowledge, that is, knowledge of both high- and low-frequency words, and the students' performance scores on the summary task. The finding that there were no significant correlation between the vocabulary test scores and the reading comprehension scores contradicted results from previous studies. The authors attributed the conflicting results to the different ways in which vocabulary knowledge and reading comprehension were measured. What were the implications of this study? The authors recommended improving students' reading comprehension by getting students to read and answer questions with texts containing low-frequency words, and by equipping them with strategies such as inferring word meanings based on contextual clues. Students should also be encouraged to engage in extensive reading outside the classroom and to read articles selected by teachers that contain useful, low-frequency words. This episode's research summary looked at the paper entitled The Role of Vocabulary in Reading Comprehension, The Case of Secondary School Students Learning English in Singapore, written by Lawrence Jun Chang and Suwaini Bin Anual. You can read more about this study in the RELC Journal. My name is Victoria Ong. Thank you for listening.